One thing this week that I've really realized is that I have not been doing everything in my daily life in God's will. And I feel like this week that I have really learned like how to do that and how I can like teach other people and be a good example. This week we've just talked a lot about walk his way and what that means and I've just seen God just show up in these kids lives and just make his presence more clear to them. God's really touched me through trust was always chapels. Uh, I always took notes but I think the one that really stood out to me was when she started talking about uh, Matthew about how Peter was always or always was distracted the way um, Jesus want or the path he wanted to go to and it was really special for me when I figured out Matthew 14 27 through 31 and he just had fear had doubt that's so started falling but God will always catch you God will always know what he wants you to do and just follow his path I just saw like, the most incredible growth in my campers, and I've never been more proud to see my boys when they took a flicker pole and carried it up the West 40 Hill without even thinking about it. They encouraged each other and just said that, I'm not going to let you fall, I will carry your weight. And they sprinted up a gravel hill with a 500 pound pole. And it's nothing I've ever seen before, it was something that I wasn't ready for. And I just like, saw the Lord like carrying these boys, and it just I've never seen anything like it. And it really just brought me to Romans 8:11, saying that the power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in them. And that was just one of the most encouraging moments, even as a counselor, seeing like your kids do that. It just makes you learn something when you're supposed to be teaching them, which is always incredible. During the creation hike, we um, did the activity where we picked the rocks up and we talked to them about how the rocks represented uh, sin that they had. Um, and then whenever we got up to the West 40, uh, we had them close their eyes and we said that as soon as we tell you to, we're gonna have you open your eyes, spike your rock on the ground, and run in the newness and the newness of life. So we signified the throwing the rock away and the running into the fullness of Christ as um, being freed by Him. This week we've been talking about what it means to follow God and trust in Him with our, our whole heart and how to live that out on a regular basis. That it's not enough to just simply choose moments to trust God, but to be able to live in the peace and confidence and joy that He wants us to, that we have to put our trust in Him at, at all times, not just in the moments that we feel like it. Feelings are a bad leader, but we want to be able to lead our feelings and show them where to go by putting our trust in God and listening to His voice on a regular basis.